All right, man. So anyway, yes, man, we are here. We were here last night, but we here again today. Um, I hope that y'all got a chance to look at the uh, stream last night. We uh, took a look at Output Arcade. They got a brand new release that they did called Pop Underground. We checked it out last night. And so we back again today. Y'all about to see a bunch of streaming from your boy, man. We finna get to this thing, dog. And uh, we doing it, man. So tonight, man, we diving right in. Shout out to everybody that's on the stream right now. Uh, I don't know how many we have, but shout out to all of y'all. Uh, the stream just dropped, so I don't know who... Uh, if anybody came back, but that's all right. We moving uh, today, man. We are taking a look at Native Instrument. I'm a big, big fan of Native Instrument. Um, anybody know me know I've been watch, doing uh, using Native Instrument for a long time, man. I started back in 2013 or something like that uh, with the very first machine, micro, micro machine, the very first generation. And... Um, and I've been rocking with them ever since. Uh, today, I want to talk about their complete control and the very new release and sale that's going on right now of complete control and, I'm sorry, not complete control, but complete 13 and Isotope. A beautiful marriage. A beautiful marriage that I think was necessary I am glad to see this now. I just want y'all to know, man, this is not a sponsored video. This is just me, man. I just like, I love the product. Um, I've been using it for a while. Uh, I will show you, as you can see here, I got the complete control, um, wrong screen here. I got the complete control uh, 49. This is the, the A series. I have the mic, the uh, machine micro three. I also have the uh, let's grab it here. The complete control A. This is the twenty five um, that I use. I travel with sometime. I'm thinking about adding it back to my home collection. And when my new setup come, it'll be a whole nother thing. So uh, again, man, this is not. This is not a sponsored video, man. This is just me doing this, and I just love the product. Just love the product. So we're going to dive in it. Um, I just want to give a couple shout-outs, man, to uh, people at Output, UJM, man, all of y'all that, that we work with, man, over here. Just shout-out to all of y'all, man. So um, and I just wanted to get that out, man. I, I appreciate the business that we do. So anyway, back to it, Native Instrument, um, they have this sale going on, and in this sale, man, that they have, they have the complete 13 with the Isotope. Now, looking at this screen here, you'll see all of the things that they have, and this is a crazy bundle. Um, I will have a link for this in the description once this stream is over with. Uh, yes, it is a, a affiliate link. It, it does help the bit. It does help the channel to uh, be able to do different things that we're trying to do on the channel. So definitely click that link. Uh, there's no discount on it or anything like that. There's no difference. Just you click on it and it sends you there, man. I want to be upfront about that. But um. Uh, Man, CP the Creator, man. Man, thank you for joining the stream, my boy. Uh man, what's going on, bro? I uh I still keep my eyes on you, dog. I still keep my eyes on you, man. I know you do a lot of more uh, video stuff now, but man, I am still watching, bro. I'm still watching, dog. Got some dope stuff, man. I'm a very big fan, bro. A big, big fan. And um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, dog. I, uh, I watch like some of your stories that you create. Their video stuff is crazy, dog. But I mean, I expected that uh, you took the same aim with the music, which I thought was top notch. And you still do the same with the videos, man. So I'm I'm just a fan, bro. Uh, so I appreciate you being on the stream, man. Uh, but yeah, man. So complete control with this combination of Isotope. Uh, this is a match made in heaven, man. This is this is. 
one of the biggest deals I've seen in a while. Um, so you upgrade to complete control, and you get the uh, you get the music production suite four point one. So there's a couple different options with this. There is the uh, you get to choose your flavor. Uh, they have the complete control complete. Th- I keep saying the complete control thirteen, but I mean the complete control man. Uh, so they have the complete control, the complete thirteen, with the music production suite for six ninety nine. Uh, then they have the complete thirteen ultimate plus the music production for twelve ninety nine, and the complete thirteen ultimate uh, collector's edition. Now I have the collector's edition, um, uh, and it has a lot of stuff in there. Um, now I pay for this. You know, out of my own pocket, just because I just knew it was worth the price of admission. So I am a very, very big fan of it. Uh, the savings on it is crazy because once you're purchasing them like one by one, um, once you look at how much they cost individually, and then you see the bundle, it's definitely worth getting the bundle. Um, it's just just a better buy. Uh, save your money <laughs> save your money and get the bundle uh i think you should definitely take a look at it uh, the videos that they have on it the uh production stuff and how it all works together this particular video he uh this guy um i cannot remember his name man he's a very dope producer he does a producing of a track and then he sends it off to another guy to mix and master uh and it just shows the the you know the complete uh bundle that it has man you can literally use this even if you if you had this by itself and you did and you had nothing else like this would get you a long way i can't see too many other things that you would quote unquote need is what i'm talking about um and so, with this, you get just everything. It's so many different sounds in here. Uh, let's just kind of explore some of these. I'll go ahead and look at, even if you did the basic model here. This is just the 13. This is the the bottom of all of them. This is like the standard one that you get. Look at all this stuff that you have, man. You get, there's a lot of key things in here, man. Like, especially like the analog, depending on... Like, depending on the kind of producer that you are, you got so many different options. Uh, I'm a big fan of Battery, Nor, uh, Nor, the um, Super 8 I love, ROM. If you've seen any of my past videos, I've, I've used ROM a lot. It's just a dope reverb. Uh, the Unicorda, I, I, I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But I love this piano. I've used this piano hundreds of times uh, in my own production rounds is a good one um i mean these are just key one massive x uh you know that's i mean it's like synthesizer standard right there i mean you got to have massive x man so um it's just so many different things and so if you go let's check out the uh the collector's edition and with that collection collector's edition man you have everything um (laughs) <laughs> you got everything man like uh i'll tell you another like studio drummer i love studio drummer uh for some of the live stuff that i do sometimes so i love that uh the finger is dope the mouth is dope rising hit is another big one uh razor um the pick acoustic is a good one like these are ones that i use on a regular basis damage uh Rio flesh is good like these are just alicia keys um these are the one uh mysteria ones that i could think of that i just use every session like a- anytime i pull up i'm using some of these same ones over and over again it's just endless man it's just endless so many different things um any genre of music look at this man it's over 115 thousand sounds that is crazy and like i say with the savings you're saving over 90 percent uh purchasing the full complete package versus individually um 
So it, it's just so many, man. This one, uh, or uh, I cannot remember. I can't think of the name of this one. This one right here, is another dope one. Another one I use all the time, man. Um, the play series, play series is another one I use all the time. As a matter of fact, um, I think it is. I think it's cloud. Is it cloud? Uh yeah, I think it's the cloud supply. My boy Snipe Young did that one. Shout out to Snipe Young. Um, he had his hand in that one. It's just so many. Man, straight light, fair light. Um, these expansions. It's so much stuff, man, that you can do. All these synthesizers and sample instruments and all these different things production i mean percussion tools man this tr trk 21 i think it is i mean the trk 01 this um man this thing is like it has some kicks and that thing that is crazy like crazy uh battery is another one that a lot of people use that i know uh the effects uh, the 73 expansions. These are some dope expansions. As a matter of fact, my boy Snipe Young did another one in that one. Uh, Kingdom. I can't remember. It was Kingdom something. And uh, he got, man, he has so many. And there's like a bunch of them that he does. That guy is awesome, man. He's just an awesome dude. Uh, but yeah, man, it is uh, any type of music that you do, it is endless. Endless, endless. So. Yeah, man. So make sure. I mean, go check that out, man. And with Isotope, uh, it just adds a whole nother element to it. Um, if anybody has ever used Isotope before, you kind of know what it sounds like and what it does for your music. Um, it is a very, very uh, good mastering, mixing, mastering tool. There's so many different ways that you could do it in that thing, man. It is just all over the place, man. All over the place. Matter of fact, I will uh, show you this. This is the uh, the Isotope 4.1. This is the Production Suite 4.1. You got the RX9 standard. This thing here, I use it all the time. Um, now, I don't have the RX9. I think I have the RX7. An RX7, is it does great. I, I don't even know like the differences between 79, but 7 is amazing. Uh, the Neutron... Uh, I have the standard version of this or the element version, whatever they call it. I have like the, the basic version of these things, man. I've never, I've never used Neoverb. I've heard good things about it. Um, so, I mean, you're talking about vocal synth. I'm doing a video on vocal synth, um, in the near future because I just kind of messed around with some things and found out some things you can do with, with that. And, I was like okay this is a whole nother world you're talking about being able to say in a mic and then play it on the keyboard um i can't sing but this thing make me sound like i can uh so <laughs> it's crazy um so yeah i'm gonna do a video on that one soon uh nectar plus is a good one uh like i said i've never used neoverb stutter edit i just got stutter edit too uh probably about a week or two ago, I think they had it on like plug in boutique or something like that. Wherever I got it from, I just got it. So I hadn't died, hadn't dove in it yet, but I am. Tunnel balance control is another good one for your mastering because it's going to show you where these balances should be, like on the low end, mids, and the highs. And you can kind of balance your mix based on that, which I think is uh is wonderful. I think that is dope that you could do that on that so that's another good one that you have so you got all of this in one whole package man and so you gotta hurry up because the end they're gonna go to their regular price on march the 22nd so you gotta hurry up and jump on it if you're gonna do it um you gotta jump on it man it is it is it is worth every dime i can guarantee it man it is worth every dime and so uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to dive in, man. We're going to create some, and I'm only going to be using native uh, instrument stuff. Uh, as a matter of fact, I am going to pull up machine. We're going to use machine today. 
Um, and I know a lot of people see me in Studio One, but today we're going to use Machine. I have grown my production based on Machine for the first, man, probably the first maybe like five, six, seven years of producing, man. I was using Machine and I used it until forever. I used it until Studio One came about, and then once I found out how to use the two together, uh, that's when I started using them both together. But Machine has carried me throughout my production career. Machine has. So I'm pretty familiar with it. Uh, there's a couple new things that I don't know on the new end of it. Uh, usually... What I'm doing in it is starting my creation process. I still create out of machine. Then I take it over to Studio One and finish in Studio One. But um, machine is still, you know, it's still the, the, the cream of the crop to me. So <laughs> it's still the cream of the crop to me. It is. It, it will prob. It will forever be the cream of the crop to me. I have used it for the longest. And I will always use machine. I will always use machine. All right, so. cool. So we are here on uh, Native Instruments, uh, the machine. And like I was saying, man, we have the uh, product here that it will allow us to operate the machine itself. And so as we're going through this, we can choose what we would like, right? And so let's start with, um, let's just start with FM. No, let's start with Glaze. Let's start with Glaze. I like Glaze. And so as I click this on Glaze, you'll see that it gives me the opportunity to choose the type that I want. And so let's choose a synth pad. And then you can choose it again. I'm basically just clicking on the button here and then it lets me uh, choose what kind of things I want. Matter of fact, I'm just leave it there. Then, as you see, it lets me go through and hear what it sounds like. Let's use, let's try this one, right? And so as we have this selected, you'll start to see it pop up here, and then you'll see it come up here. Now, if you click here on Glaze, you double click that, it bring up this spot here, which you can control now what you see. So as we play this, Now, you can also, which is one of my favorites, is that you are able to go on this screen here. We're going to use a scale, and you can just kind of dial it in. we we'll just use uh, the, let's do a C sharp, then we'll do scale. We'll make, matter of fact, we'll make it a chord and we'll do a minor. Let's see. Once you do that, you can go here. And as I'm hitting one key, it plays in a chord. Now I'm just choosing a major minor chord. I'm in C-sharp minor. We'll figure out which one we want. Uh, let's try minor three. Just give you different options. Kind of like 
like that. As we know, the scale that we want, we go back out of that. No, we want to stay in that. And we're going to go to Browse. We're going to plug in. And we can change. We can start to edit a little bit. I always like to just Play around, see what it sound like. Now this one got sauce. Now, so now. So now we can go ahead and start to lay some down. Um, now in this, you have to set these different scenes. This particular scene here is going to be a four, five bar loop here, four bar loop. I'm sorry. Um, and you could come here and create it. Uh, you can probably type intro or something like that. I don't know. Uh, so you can go over here and name this. Glaze. I like mine the capital letters, man. So we got glaze, man, and this is gonna be our intro. All right, so this is gonna be so we're gonna set the metronome. We're gonna make a loop, and let's see if we can uh count in. Right, so I'm hitting shift and take that off. Right, so now we got that loop going. Mind you, we're still in C sharp. So we'll go down one more. Let's find something else. As we start to look for different things, remember we in C sharp. Just remember what note you're in. Um, we'll go. Let's do something else. We don't want to stick in there. Let's go to. We're gonna go back here and go to you know what there is some dope stuff in kinetic toys uh, matter of fact I'm just gonna go down the list here uh, and you can always click all like here you'll see it all and if you had the uh, like the S version you have the big uh, screen on there I don't have the S version, <laughs> you know. I can't afford the S version at this point. It's all good. We're gonna get there though. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go through some sounds on the kinetic toys. <laughs> I like that. That's a weird sound. Now remember, we uh in the scale, we're in C sharp, and as you can remember, it's all still set here. Uh, let's go to say we're going to major. 
I mean, minor three, I think it was. Now, as you can see, with this kinetic toys, you kind of see the You see, everything is kind of moving around, so let's see here, uh, start from the beginning. So we'll do something like that. Um, As you can see, there's so many different things you could do to this stuff. You can manipulate it however you want. Um, I think the top end is a little more higher than I want it, so I need to get some to control that top end. So here's where the effect come in, right? You have here, you can go to the native instrument effect chain, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, they're all over. Um, I am going to choose this uh here and what i want to do double click it again and we're just going to take a little bit of that top off a little of that top off, same chords, in the progression, uh, it's all kind of blending together now, Let me turn this down just a little bit more, alright, and so now, let's find some kind of melody to put in, um, let's, uh, let's keep searching here, let's go back, no kinetic toys anymore. Uh, let's do, ooh, let's do lo-fi glow. And let's see what kind of sounds we come with. Now, if you really want to narrow this down, you can. You can go into specific sounds, and it will tell you exactly what you're looking for. But you just have to go into it like that. Uh, so what we will do, let's browse. That sax is dope. So now, I want to kind of use the machine to come up with a uh, like a melody. So what we're going to do is on the machine, we're going to go ahead and get that same thing going. We're going to go, we're going to choose that. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to create a, I know we was in C sharp. So we got to create something in C sharp, right? So we're going to go to keyboard we in c sharp already it's got me at c sharp three so 
So everything I hit is in key. We just gotta figure out how we wanna do this. So let's see what we're gonna do. If I really wanted to, I could do the same thing on here. I could put this in key uh, and scale. And I can put it in there. Now I can go ahead and create a type. We're going to put it in a chronicle. Mapped. Chords off. So... As you can see, it's all in key. Uh, if you play. So it's in that key scale. And now it's all about matching what works. But I still want to do it in on the machine. I still want to do it there. So now that I have on here, I have it set up in C sharp. And we're going to go ahead and choose some different things here. We're gonna keep it main. Uh, we're gonna do it a minor. Let's see. I should have did this one here and this one. Here's what I think I was trying to do. Let's see. Let's see. Keep that. Yeah, we'll keep that. We'll just keep it like that. All right, so let's go ahead. I think that we're just going to name it. Uh, we just name this in toys. And we'll name this one low. Glow. We'll just name it like that. All right. So now we're gonna keep going here. Now I want to look at some drums. So I'm going to come back here. Now with the machine, the machine micro, it don't allow you to kind of go across the categories. You have to get to where you're trying to go. So the the example that I'm saying here is. And once I get here and I choose that I want to go to these groups, then I can go ahead and start browsing from here. All right? So, it, and it'll let me choose, but it won't let me go back like it will on this one and choose something different, right? So, um, let's go ahead and go here. We're going to go to browse. Uh, we'll go to types. Uh, let's go here. So, so as I hear this track, it gives me a, an idea of what it sounds like, right? 
So with this particular track that I'm playing, um, so now I get a chance to kind of go through what I would think would sound good here. Um, so I think I'm going to go with uh, one of my favorites, man. I love this group here, DJ Khaled. I love the DJ Khaled kits. I like the Crenshaw. We're going to go with the Crenshaw for now. Let's see what we come up with here. All right, and so again, we're going to go ahead and hit our um, record, which gives us our count here. And let's see. right so let's go ahead and create a new part here we got all right so we have to turn down the uh, laptop here all right so now what we're gonna do is create a base right so now we're gonna go back here and now we can just kind of browse through. Uh, now, this time I want to go like this, right? Instead of going through all of the instruments, I want to go through. And I mean, instead of going through the instruments itself, I want to go through and find a bass, right? And so I'm just going to choose bass. What kind of bass? I want to do a, maybe like a sub, maybe a synth. Bass? I don't know. Let's see what they got to offer. That, that might 
be dope. It might work for what we're trying to do. Yeah. Now this one, I'm just going to peg it out. See if I can find it. Let's see. Uh... So as you see, there's so many different things you could do with Native Instrument. You can complete an entire track with just Native Instruments. Um, they have so many different options, so many different things. The hardware works with the software perfect. Uh, there is no lagging in it or anything like that. It just works perfect. It's all set up for creating music. The entire setup is just dope. So make sure, man, go before the 22nd for sure click the link in the description go and get that like asap <laughs> whichever one you get is fine but just get them all asap um i'm going to have to do a video i'm gonna do another video and it's going to be about isotope and it's going to show some different things that you can do with isotope the mastering um, I've did a video on Isotope before. Um, it's been a long time ago, but we got to do another one with the newer product that they have. I have some of it, but I don't have all of it. So we're going to definitely get that and we're going to get it together. Make sure that you like, subscribe, make sure that you follow. 
make sure that you are commenting leave me some comments let me know if you have complete what you think about the new bundle what you think about the marriage the couple between native instrument and isotope tell me what you think about it. let's see let's get a discussion going let's see what it, if um if it's a good deal i feel like it is i feel like it's, it's dope maybe some people may disagree with that i don't know but uh just let me know in the comments man and until next time see you when i see you man peace out